Hey everyone, welcome back. I'm so happy you popped over to see what I am up to. For everyone who is new here and sees me for the first time, welcome. My name is Iani and I'm doing this all about Christmas channel. On this channel, I keep it short. You will find lots and lots of seasonal decor DIYs and daily decor DIYs. So I hope you enjoy it. And if you're not subscribed to my channel, I hope you will click the red subscribe button and give me a thumbs up. It would help my channel a lot to grow. So enough talking. Let's jump into today's DIY inspiration and you see already on the table i have my tumbler tile blocks of course the smaller blocks i have here my container with everything i need some cutters scissors markers brushes uh, wire everything i need for the most of the time of my diys of course i am going to use some uh, wood glue but you can use any glue you like everyone has their own favorite so go ahead do whatever you like of course i have here some paint i don't know if i'm really going to use the black scoreboard paint we will see how it will turn out of course i have my old saucer and of course my old piece of kitchen towel which is wet i always have it on hand to wipe away the glue what we're going to do we are going to make a rustic windmill but of course uh, on this channel and of course on uh, my other channel uh, deco easy i uh, made already i think two windmills but they never turned out uh, the vision I have in my head so I'm going to give it a try I really want to give the uh, kind of the rustic look so we will see how this one will turn out of course I hope you take out your tumbler tile blocks too and please do this DIY together with me first we're going to take five blocks like this not four five and we are going to glue them together some glue on the tops and on this one and we close them immediately up because then the glue doesn't uh, run out of all the blocks. And number four and number five will be to close you up. So very easy. Squeeze it. Press it down. And make sure that everything is in a straight line like this. And again. And of course sometimes you see already sometimes the blocks will pop up. Because sometimes the top is not totally straight and then they will whoop, go out. But we are going to keep them together. We're going to get another five blocks and this way. And we're going to do some glue on the tops again. And on this one. And on this one. And on the fourth. And now the number five is the closure up again. We're going to squeeze them. Make a straight line because now you still can redo it this way. And you see here, I need to give it here a little push. And we're going to push this one also again. And again, five blocks. We are almost there because we are going to make four pieces of five. And this is already the number three. And number four. And again, squeeze it and give it some time because these are the pieces which are very important. So make sure that this one is really straight and um, is fitting the nicest. So And again, the last one. This is number one, of course, number two and number three and number four. Squeeze it together in a straight line, like this, and we're going to, and you see already, sometimes they just pop off, we get our towel and we're going to wipe away the glue we don't need, and we're going to give it a couple of minutes rest. In the meantime, while these four are drying, we are going to get five blocks again, but we're going to glue them in a different way, we're going to do them on the longest side. Number one, number two, number three, and number four. And also here is number five, the closure up. Squeeze it and make sure that you have a nice line. This is already one. We are going to have five already over here. And this is also number one, number two, number three, and number four. And again, squeeze it and press it together. We need, in totally, we need six pieces 
uh, of five, but of course I will do it a little bit faster. And if you want to use a metal hook, just go ahead. Be uh, If you like that a little bit better just to make them in the straight line, just use your metal hook. I don't use it, but I'm just an, a stubborn old lady. So don't mind me, just do whatever you think is working the best for you, because I'm just doing the best I can and of course this works for me the best I for me it's much too much work to do it every time with the a metal hook but of course if you like it be my guest and do it so I'm going to do the other four a little bit faster <music> So we have now our six pieces of five. What we're going to do, we're going to measure out which is fitting the best together. This one is fitting nicely. This one is fitting nicely. Maybe this one, or maybe we are going to turn it over. Sometimes it also works. Maybe this one, like this. And we're going to do some glue on the sides. And you be careful because it is still not totally dry. But the greatest is that you still can redo it if it's not totally dry. And this one. And we go for this side. And we're going to squeeze it together. Make sure that you, everything is fitting nicely. And now you still can push it a little bit together. So you have a nice piece of wood. And this way. And we're going to go for this one also. Give it a little bit of pushing. And a straight line like this and then we're going to let this rest after we wipe away our glue and if you have some open gaps because your blocks are not totally straight just do some uh, wood filler uh, on top of here and fill it out and then send it out but you also get to i think it's called speckle uh, on top of here just but i don't mind if it is uh, gives a little bit open structure because i like it but that's not everyone's cup of tea so I'm going to let this rest. We have now our four pieces of five. And we have our three pieces of um, five blocks here, five blocks here. And of course, then three of them. What we're going to do, we're going to take two of the blocks from the five, place them on the side. We do this apart. We're going to place this over here. What we're going to do, we're going to get our blocks and we are going to place them inside. And of course, this one will be in a straight line with the top over here, like this. Then the other one will be over here. And the other will be over here. And I have to look for this one has to go down under the line. And we're going to glue this one, of course, also over here. And then we make sure I have to look for if I have everything in a straight line. And in, when it's uh, glued together, of course, I will show you exactly where he needs to be. And of course, this one over here. What I'm going to do right now, I'm going to get my glue. I'm going to do glue some over here because I want I know exactly where I need to glue it. I need to glue it under here. And I need to glue it under this line. So over here, like this. And I'm going to place it down. And if everything is correctly, I have glue exactly on the parts where I need to have it. So, and of course, I'm going to do here the same. I'm doing some glue on this side, on the top. I'm doing it under here. And I do it under here. The same like I did with the other one. And of course, I'm going to place it down. And make sure that you have it. On the spot you need. And I have to be look for if everything is correctly. And over here. And then we're going to give it a little bit of pressure. And here. And you still can redo it. If something is not totally straight, you just go with your fingers, feel it, and give it a little push. And we're going to let this dry in. So this is dried in a little bit. It's not totally dry yet. What I'm going to do with the other two. I'm going to do the same. I'm doing some glue over here on this one. I'm going to do on, under this line and under this line. This is already in number one. And now we're going to do the other one first. Of course, a little over here. 
under this line and on the this line from the last block and what I'm going to do I'm going to place them aside this way and I'm going to try to turn this over I don't know if it will uh, fall apart we will see how this will turn out because I show you in a moment how I should have done it I just should have done it this way this way then place the little uh, shelves on top and then do the last two pieces on top and then you have so easy to glue it but I did it the difficult way I don't know why but, <laughs> but I did so I'm going to go for very carefully on the side and we're going to turn it over this way we're going to place this aside place this aside and of course we are going to work our way inside and this way we're going to go over here we go over here make a straight line and now we're going to work this one against it this one is very easy to do we just have to work with this one and again give it a little bit of pressure we're going to give it some pressure over here when we are in the right spot and also over here give it a little bit of pressure when you have it in the line you want to have it over here and I'm going to let this dry in so you see already I place my a little frame on the side what I'm going to do I'm just have here some wooden piece of a full small dowel here in the net we call it saté pricker and you can do some marshmallows on top of here and then do them in some fire if, if everything is correct at least it is some wooden uh, uh, pick over here and I'm going to place this over here I'm going to do it over here and then I'm going to get my pencil and I'm going to over here I'm going to make a little mark and I'm going to cut it off with my cutter and I'm going to I hope I have it this way and of course this and now I'm going to look for if I can place it inside and I can you see I'm going to do another one and I'm doing the same but first what I'm going to do measure this one out and I'm going to cut off the point over here and I have to cut off this piece and then we're going to first glue this one on his place and then we're going to make this one and this one but of course we are going to place them over each other of course you can make a cut inside of here and then glue this one a uh, piece over here and this one over here but i'm going to glue them over each other and this one needs to be a little bit shorter than this one it was a little bit longer so very easy i'm just going to get some glue some wood glue i'm going to place it over here and of course some over here for the other one and some over here for this one and over here and a little in the middle so I'm first I'm going to place this one and lay it inside and make sure that you make it in the glue that's the important thing and then of course we do some glue only over this part this way and we're going to place this one over each other and we're going to keep it in place for a couple of minutes but of course you don't see that because this will take much too long for you so I will show you in a moment so you see I did also now the other side and I used some wood glue but uh, the other st stick that didn't want to stay in so I used also uh, my glue gun I did some wood glue first and then I did some wood glue of some hot glue on this side and this side and then it still keeps it in place and now can it dry with the wood glue and then it will be very steady so we give it a, a little moment to dry in but I think it looks very nice if you have this kind of sides so it was just an experiment but I really am enjoying it how it looks like we placed our little uh, frame on top of here what we're going to do we're going to get two blocks and two blocks and we're going to glue the tops on each other so this way and this is one and this is number two 
because we're going to give it a little bit kind of a feet uh, under the little frame because I don't want that it is falling off so that's why I give it a little bit kind of a yeah it's not feet but of course a little leg under it and I'm going to let this dry in for a couple of minutes so I have here our little frame I have here the two pieces of uh, our blocks and of course I'm going to lay this this way what I'm going to do I'm going to turn over our little frame we're going to do some glue on the feet over here and on this one and of course on this one and on the last and we're going to carefully place it this way and we're going to place it over here in the middle of this one and now we're going to be careful and we're going to do the other one the same and then we're going to work with it where we want to have it and I want to have it in the middle. You can do it totally on the side. You can do it uh, anywhere you like. I like it a little in the middle of the feet. And make sure that this one is also over here. And this one has to come in the middle. And this one. And of course over here. If I have it, I give uh, some pressure with some uh, paint can on top of here. So I will glue this uh, this way. And then I'm going to let this dry. And here you see how our little frame is turned out when it's dried up. And I told you here in the Netherlands we call this a tape breaker. But of course I have a video out. And you all told me that it's, you call it a skewer. If I'm correctly. And if I uh, Google this uh, for Dutch. It, uh, uh, <laughs> it is a totally different word. We call them flace pen. So it's much different <laughs> than this. But you call it a skewer if I'm correctly. So. I try to remember, but don't be mad at me if I don't don't remember later how it is called because it's a different word for me than Dutch skewer. So, of course, this is how it's turned out, and I'm really happy with it. Now we're going to make the top of the windmill, and we are going to try to make a round because I always try to make everything from tumbling towel blocks. So we will see. I'm going to try. I have something in my head. I always. I keep sure that this has a straight line and this one has a straight line and then we're just going to go for this one and we're going to go for this one like this and just we're going to try to get it as round as we can and then we're going to double it up and if we double it up then we hope we have the the round we need and this way and now I hope that this one is also coming inside here. And we still have to work a little bit with it, maybe a little bit higher. And just take your time for it so you have the round you like. Because it has to be to your approval. And this one. And now I'm going to work with it as best as I can to make a nice round over here. And I think he is... Uh, most of the round I need I'm going to get my wood glue and I'm going to place some block and of course I'm going to go for this one on top of here so I'm going to get two pieces and I'm going to do an overlay and that's I'm going to go around so very easy and I don't know if this will work or not we will see and I just always try to make it from some metal blocks but you also can use because I have also here a metal frame so like this so you also can use a uh, kind of a hula hoop to uh, use it you can use a wooden uh, piece like this ring but I try to do it from the thumb metal blocks and I only lay them on top so I can readjust them later on I just lay it on top and then because wood glue doesn't dry immediately you still can redo it at your own choice and we go for this too over here because we need to glue the round or else it doesn't stay together and we go for and this one over here and now we still hope we still get two inside 
and we hope and then we still can redo it I think I need to redo it a little because I don't think I get this one inside. I am not that lucky, I think. And make sure that you have everything like this. And I still need to get this one inside. And I try to redo it as less as I can because I still need to get this round over here and I think I'm going to let this rest for a little moment and I try to get connect the little points uh, to each other as much as I can and this way I think I'm going to leave it and I'm going to let this rest and let it dry and then we will see how it turned out or else we have to make okay, another one. In the meantime, one. while our wheel is drying, of course, it is a wheel with a, a unique uh, model because <laughs> I don't think you find them anywhere. And sometimes, my dear wise, you're thinking, what is she thinking? And I am really thinking because I make the dear wise always uh, as long as I go. So I never know in front what I'm going to do. So <laughs> It's always uh, wondering how it will turn out. What we're going to do, we are going to glue two blocks together like this. And we're going to do two blocks on top of each other. And this one only this side. Place them over here. Place this one over here. Squeeze it and press it together until one piece. This is already one. We're going to get again four blocks. We're going to do the side. Like this, we place them together, squeeze it, and we're going to do some glue on the top, and we do some glue on the side, and we place it on top of here, and we place this one also against here. Squeeze it, press it down, make sure that you have a nice straight line, like this, and we're going to go for another four, and this is so easy to make, and this is one, and again, we're going to squeeze it, give it some glue on the top, give it some glue on the side, place it on top, over here, and this one over here. Squeeze it, and again, make sure that you have a straight line. And we're going to give this to a little bit of a rest. So we gave it a couple of minutes, we're going to do some glue on the tops. And we're going to do some glue over here. And we're going to place them together. And this way, we're going to squeeze it. Make sure that you have a nice straight line. Also, just go all the way around and make sure that all the pieces are in a straight and push them together because the, the glue is still not dry, so you can bend it any way you like. Of course, what I'm going to do again, I'm going to get four blocks and I make a loose one like this. So you do some glue over here, glue them together. This way, do in the middle and on the side again. And we're going to, whoop, you see already my glue is gone. This way, and I'm going to go for this one. Squeeze it again. And we're going to let this one also, because it will be on top, but in another direction. Now is our pieces of this block, and this block is of course dried up at most. We are going to glue it on the top. Over here, just do some glue in the middle. And I'm going to place this one over here. And again, squeeze it and press it together this way. And we're going to wipe away the glue we don't need. Like this. And we're going to place it aside. What we're going to do, we're going to get two blocks and two blocks again. So we do some glue in the middle and we place it on top. We do some glue in the middle and we place it on top. Again, squeeze it in a straight line, squeeze it in a straight line. And of course, we are going to wipe away our glue. But of course, if you use hot glue, you probably don't have this problem. But you always have to be careful that your uh, DIY is not falling apart. 
we're going to do some glue in the middle and we're going to glue this one also on top of each other and we place it aside now we're going to get three blocks so very easy and this is one and this is two and we're going to glue them together we're going to get another three and this is one number two and again squeeze them together and this one also do some glue over here and we're going to place this one on top so very easy give it a little bit of pressure and then place it on the side this way so you get a nice flat piece like this and we're going to let this dry in and our two piece our double up and of course our three double up and we are going to glue them together this way so we're going to do some glue over here and we're going to place it exactly in the middle of course i think i'm try to press it together as much as i can and this way and we're going to give it a little moment of rest this way and i'm going to get now uh, out of my stairs i found some rounds and you see already uh, i have different sizes of rounds i order them always online on aliexpress or timu you can buy them anywhere these are just hobby pieces and they are very thin wood and i'm going to get four pieces because you see already he is very thin what you also can do if you don't have this kind of round you also can use um four blocks i think maybe five glue them together this way for with your tom towel blocks like this and then make a round out of it and then just saw it out if you have a jigsaw just saw your round out and then you have almost as big as this one you can of course even double it up if you do it a little bit bigger just uh, it depends on what your taste is and then you still can you see this one is really fitting inside so i would go then for six uh, six blocks uh, rows and then make a nice round and then you have the same then you don't have to use this in totally you just can uh, do it away and you can easily make everything from your tumbler towel blocks so i'm going to do this round and i need uh, four pieces because like i said it is very thin wood so i'm going to do very simple i'm just going to go like this i'm going to go this one i'm just going to make it thicker and this one and then i'm going to do one is a size smaller and i'm going to place it of course this one in here and i'm going to place this one in the middle over here and again squeeze it make sure that you have it in the middle or else it looks very strange and this way and we're going to give it a couple of minutes rest. i gave my ring at least a couple of hours rest because he needs to dry up very uh, well but of course with uh, a wood glue you still need to do it at uh, 24 hours but i'm doing my best just to <laughs> be careful i'm going to place this one aside because this is still drying i'm going to get the ring and i'm going to get a couple of blocks and i'm going to just puzzle a little bit for a couple of my blocks for inside so i really have no idea where i want to have them but i'm going to try just to place them and i think this is i think this looks very nice so i'm going to do some glue on this top at the ending and I'm going to place it over here and I'm going to look for if I have it on on the place I want to have it of course I'm going to do this one just on the top place it over here and again squeeze it we do here the same but you can if you want to have it on a different place it's also fine too you can place it anywhere you like it just supposed to be it looked like a kind of a wheel of course it is an imagination so you don't have to do it exactly how it is done and this one is also not totally the windmill everyone expects because this is just my inspiration of it 
I'm going to go for maybe here. Yeah, I think I'm going for this one. And I'm going to let this dry at least also again for an hour. So I gave it uh, at least uh, almost an hour to dry to make sure that everything stays together. What I'm going to do, I'm going to do some glue over here. I'm going to do some glue over here, over here, over here, and over here. And now I'm going to place my round, this round we made. And if you made it from Tumblr Tile Blocks, you are going to do this round, of course, in the middle over here. And we're going to give it a little bit of pressure, not too much, but a little bit like this. And we're going to give this also uh, at least a half hour until 45 minutes at least to dry in and you see it looks already a little bit like a wheel of course like i said it's a matchable wheel, but i really like you it you see how the wheel is turned out and i'm really happy with the result like this but you see already on the back side he is not finished so we are going to turn it over we are going to do some glue also again on this one a little in the middle over here a little in the middle over here over here and over here and we're going to place one piece of course like this and if you used on the uh, front side a round from tumblr tile blocks i will do on the back side just a piece of round from cardboard because you have to have a thin piece or else you will stand out too big so you can't use a tumblr tile block so i would go then for cardboard or maybe you have something like this uh, laying around and i'm going to place it over here and i'm going to try to get it exactly against of uh, over each other like the one is down and we're going to give this some pressure and we're going to let this rest also for a half hour so in the meantime while this wheel is drying we are going to get these two pieces you have if everything is correctly you have one of this one and you have a one of this one like this if everything you made the same like i did <laughs> then you have the same what we're going to do the smaller line we are going to glue against here so we are going to do some glue over here like this and we're going to place it against here just exactly in the middle just squeeze it and we're going to give this also at least uh, a half hour until an hour because this is very heavy so it has to stay in place because you place it straight up and every or else he will be falling apart so he has to be really dry so i'm going to give this an hour so i have here now our two pieces the wheel and we have of course the stand what i'm going to do of course i let it dry for an, uh, an hour but i still hope he is glued very very steady but it can happen that it breaks off don't let it disturb because you can easily uh, glue it together again. So don't worry about it. I am going to turn over my wheel like this. I'm going to do some glue on the middle block over here. And I'm going to do for two thirds of the block. I'm doing some glue and also over here like this. And we're going to, and if glue later is sticking out, don't worry about it. It doesn't matter. I'm going to place this one, of course, in the middle of our wheel, like this. And I'm going to let it rest, give it a little bit of pressure, and just give it a couple, at least an hour. I think I'm going to go do some blocks on this side under it, or else he will fall down. So I'm going to place it over here. I'm going to get some blocks. Oh, you see already the blocks are already flying around i think i have more than enough yeah like this and i can give it a little bit of steadiness and i'm going to let this dry i did a paint can on top of it to give it some pressure that it dries a little bit better so i'm going to let this dry at least for an hour because everything has to hold on the stand and it is really sad if you take it all, <laughs> all up and it will fall down again so Take your time and you even can leave it overnight if that's uh, maybe for your feeling a little bit better. I'm going to take a risk so we will see later if everything will work out all right or not. So we will see. In the meantime, while of course the top of our windmill is drying, I'm going to paint already the underside, this piece already in the matte black chalk paint, uh, schoolboy paint. 
because I like the touch of the scoreboard paint. So I'm going to do it in this matte finish uh, look. And of course, later on, we're going to glue everything together. But first, I'm going to paint both of the pieces. So I take my time for it. So of course, the paint it in any color you like. You see, the first part of our windmill is already painted. Now I'm going to do the second part. You see the second part of our windmill. And we are going to paint this also in the black color. And I'm going to start on the back side. So very easy. And I also use for this one the black scoreboard paint. But like I said uh, with this one, maybe you like to do two different colors. It's also fine to just do whatever you think it's right. But I'm going to keep it with this color, the neutral way. But you can go as crazy as you like. So, and you see already I did the top of the windmill. But I didn't do the underside yet. Because I'm going to do some wood glue under here. And I'm going to glue it on top of my frame. And then I'm going to do the last piece I'm going to uh, paint in one. So if I am uh, spill um, uh, a little bit with my wood glue. Then I can easily... Uh, painted uh, extra so I'm going to glue this on top of here and then I'm going to paint it so you see already I have everything painted in the black color right now and I did at the ending I did this kind of bead it is just uh, I bought it in a full uh, package with wood pieces and it's supposed to be a little mushroom so I always keep uh, packages with wood items and I uh, look for but where I can use it and I'm going to use this in the middle of the uh, wheel of my uh, um, windmill and of course this is the last finishing touch and of course in a moment you see the quick impression of our windmill and here you see finally a quick impression of my Tomlin Tower Blocks windmill. And of course, I had so much fun making this one. It was a little bit of uh, counting how I did, would get it the right way. But of course, from all of them I made, I like this one the most. So I will use this with a lot of fun in my decor. Of course, you can change them up the little shells with any decor you like. Of course, I hope you took out your Tomlin Tower Blocks too and did this DIY together with me. And if you're only here to watch, of course, I hope you had one watch it again and of course everyone who is new here thank you so much and of course I hope you enjoyed it and if you do click the red subscribe button give me a thumbs up and hit the bell so you will be notified every time I upload new DIYs so enough talking I wish you all an amazing day see you in the next one bye